everyone, welcome to Building a Schleich Model Horse Barn Part 3. I have the barn over here on my bed just because I was using my desk for other things earlier. But earlier I did paint some skinny sticks to put around the base of the walls for trim. So I've got more walls I need to put up, so therefore more trim I'm going to have to do later. I don't plan on finishing off the inside right now, I actually plan on moving to the outside. But it just drives me nuts having these gaps around the base of the walls and the floor. I just, I don't like that at all. So I'm kind of just doing this little bit of trim now just to make myself happy because I do not like how that looks. So I painted some skinny sticks this morning. I need to paint more because I don't have nearly enough to actually do what I want to do. So that's how that is going. Also, update on this piece, this stone piece that I glued down in the last part. The tacky glue did work out pretty well. It's not like peeling up, so that is good. However, it did pop up right here and it kind of looks bad. So I might try to pull it up right here, which it kind of already is. Shoot some glue in there and put some weight on it and try to fix that. Anyway though, I will probably do that later because right now I'm going to paint skinny sticks. So trying to fix that little bubble in the stone outside here turned into a big mess. It pulled up everywhere except for where I needed it to pull up so I could get glue under where it was popping up. So it's probably still going to be popping up. I put a whole bunch more glue on it and I have more weight on it trying to get it to stick down flat and not pop up in places like it was. Um, the, it kind of pulled up rather easy, so it's not, it wasn't glued down really that good. So, this stuff is really hard to glue down. Anyway, things aren't really going right right now, so I'm going to take a little break from barn building for a bit. So, I've decided to start the siding on the outside. It doesn't look that impressive just yet. I need to get some more up. But I'm really liking it and it's going pretty well. I've just been cutting jumbo popsicle sticks to the correct size and then painting them with my English Navy. It's actually a lot lighter in real life than it is on camera. It's appearing really dark on camera, but it's really pretty and I think it's going to look so good. I'm going to have to cut some pieces, of course, to do around the window. And then I'm going to take skinny sticks and paint them the blue and put over these cracks so you won't be able to see through the cracks. So it'll look really nice. So I actually hadn't worked on this project for a few days until yesterday. I actually did a little more work on the board and batten. I guess that's what this type of siding I'm trying to do is called. So I put up some more jumbo popsicle sticks and skinny sticks. As you can see down here, the skinny sticks don't reach to the top of the barn. So I had to cut little pieces of skinny sticks and glue them on. As you can see over here, I have done that. And I also got out the wood filler and I put in some of that into the crack that of course was there. 
and I thought the crack looked really bad but I think it looks much better now that it's filled it's not so obvious that the sticks don't reach to the top of course you can see it needs a few more coats of paint to actually completely cover the filler you can still see it which doesn't look the greatest but it'll look better once I have more paint on it and I need to do that down here with these sticks and of course finish to the edge of the barn completely but this is how it's going I think it looks really good I'm now going to finish these skinny sticks to the top of the barn and I will show you the process of doing that. I have this tiny little piece of skinny stick cut and painted to fit here. Just trying to make sure it's straight. I got some more of the little tops of the skinny sticks glued on. My goal for today is to finish this side of the barn. As you can see, I'm almost there. So I got a few more sticks to put up down here and then I can go ahead and just do all the wood filling at once and I think that will be easier. As you can see, I am not painting the ends of the little sticks that I glue up. They kind of look ugly right now. But it just kind of saves me a step because after the wood filler, I have to paint them anyway, and I'll just paint them then. I've decided that I need a break, so I've cleaned up, got all the crumbs off my desk, swept my floor, because when you cut the popsicle sticks, all of the little, it just splinters everywhere, so <laughs> makes a big mess. But as you can see, there's just a tiny, oh my gosh, I got a cough. There's just a tiny bit more left to do, but I'm going to do it later because I need a break. Here it is. This side of the barn is finished. I think it looks really good. I'm super happy with how it turned out. However, I am tired of doing this outside work, even though I only have one side done. So I think just to keep myself from getting bored of this barn building project, I'm going to do something inside just to switch it up. In my last clip, I was like, oh, I'm done with siding. No, here we are. <laughs> I'm doing it a little different. As you can see, I'm working on the front of the barn and I am putting up all of the sticks and then I'm going to paint them once they're all glued up. And I think it's going to save so much time just doing three coats once they're all up instead of doing three coats individually on each stick is a pain. I am painting the sticks around the windows before I glue them up so I hopefully don't get paint on the windows and make that into a mess. Anyway, I'm really happy with how it's going so far. It's going much quicker and I'm going to keep you updated. I'm hoping that in this part I can get the barn sided. However, this part has been taking me forever to finish. I've just been going really slow and I need to get this video up for you guys. Also, this morning before I started, I had a cup of hot chocolate, very delicious, spilled it all over the floor, huge mess. That's how the morning started. Anyway, it's going better now. Here it is, three coats of paint later. I think it might need one more, but I'm gonna leave it at this for now. So I'm actually gonna end this part here. I feel like this part's gonna be kind of short, but it's actually taking me the most amount of time to make. Anyway, I definitely think this way of putting up the popsicle sticks and then painting them works better. I did get a little paint splattered on the floor on the inside, but it's gonna be fine, whatever. Anyway. I think it's looking really pretty, especially if you look at it from this side, it almost looks like kind of finished, which I like. <laughs> but I have two more sides to do. I'm going to do those just off camera, not in part four, because I want to finish this, because it would be boring to just have another part of this very same process. Anyway, I want to try to finish those other two sides, 
And in the meantime, I want to film an episode as my next video. So hopefully that happens. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.